Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Taurus. Hello Taurus. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher of the Taurus. And these are your December readings. Thank you so much for your patience. Everything in divine timing, honey. You get the reading, you see the reading when you're meant to. So Taurus, wow, fuck. It's a tower. Boom, Kanani. Something very sudden and unexpected. Shocking. Some sort of big change that you don't see coming. Um, Taurus don't like change like that because they're very grounded, out of earthy. <clears throat> Taurus is the bull. <clears throat> they don't like that shit. They want to know so they can be prepared. You see that kind of an energy? You can't prepare for the tower. It fucking comes in and out of left field lightning strikes. So whatever this is that comes in or happens, you can't, it's, you, you're not prepared for this. And I don't feel it's a bad thing. Although the tower sometimes presents itself as not always the most happiest, wonderful thing. But in hindsight, you see it as the best thing that ever fucking happened to you. It rocks your world. It shakes the ground you walk on. There could be an offer, Knight of Pentacles. You could receive some sort of an offer that shocks the fuck out of you. Now it's sudden, Knight of Wands. It's a sudden offer. Something comes in very suddenly. You have this Five of Swords here. This is that fucking, don't do this shit right here because that could be about fucking up your own shit, mind games with yourself. Overthinking. self-sabotage you know that kind of a vibe mm -mm, don't do that if it ends let it if it comes let it right that's that kind of a feeling don't don't overthink it don't self-sabotage queen of pentacles she whatever offer see it comes in halfway like that to the side Whatever offer this is, you're not sure if you're going to take it. That's that self-sabotage or the overthinking. An offer comes in, a salon, someone offers you something. It's a new job opportunity. It's a shift in work, career, or in love. And she's sideways. She doesn't know if she wants to accept it. Now, let's break it down. Don't accept it if, it's a, if it doesn't feel right. If your gut says no, fuck no. But don't do the thing where it feels great and wonderful, but I'm scared of because it's a new and I'm so, I don't like the new and I'm the, don't do the fucking fuck it up thing. Don't fuck it up. See, she's going back and forth on something. You receive some sort of, of an offer and you're like not sure about it, but I feel like it's a good thing. Nine of cups. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's something you really want. Something you may have always wanted. This is almost like a wish granted without knowing it's a wish granted. The tower it starts this. It's like the first domino to fall. I, I knew it wasn't anything bad. I can feel it. It's nine of cups. See, it's very, it's a good thing. It's something that you may have always wanted. And now that it actually presents itself, the fear kicks in of the reality of it. It's pentacle. It's solid. It's tangible. self-care someone's working on themselves someone here is focused on bettering themselves body mind soul your fate whatever happens with the tower it's to realign you to what you're destined and fated for it it, it literally realigns you it's that's why the tower is a gift prosperity so it's going to lead you down the road to more opportunities, to more money. 
the feminine and dating. For some of you, this is dating. For some of you, this entails rom romance. A relationship ends and a new one comes in. Union. Mm -hmm. Freedom. Yeah, somebody here may have gotten out of a relationship. But this also is about you meeting someone. Maybe that's what that is too, right? How she's kind of unsure. Well, I don't know if I want to give up my freedom and be in a committed relationship. I don't know if I want to do that. They're conflicted. Someone's conflicted about saying yes to something, some sort of an offer. They're conflicted. I don't know. If I say yes, I'm committed to this now. And someone here might be afraid of that. They're afraid to say yes. The obstacle. I mean, you, <laughs> how do you move a mountain? Right? The saying is, oh, moving mountains. This is that Taurus energy of fucking stubborn, won't budge. They won't budge. Secrets. Something is secret. Someone here is a bit private. They're, they're more quieter about their shit. They don't wear their heart on their sleeve. Connection. Yeah, they're not very... They're just... They find it hard to connect with people. So when they really connect with the person or connect with something that they really like and they lose it or, or whatever, it's a big deal to them. You have melancholy. Someone was in, in some sort of state of sadness recently. Distressed, stressed out about something. This could have been a work thing or finances. Spellbound. Chaser. Bro, this chaser is under like a fucking spell. I can just feel it. Like they're, they, they just feel like if this is love, they feel like they're so madly, deeply, truly in love. Romance. Yeah, they're just in love. They feel like they're under a spell. They feel like enchanted. I was enchanted to meet you. Come away with me. Someone here loves their independence. They love to get up and go, do their own thing, not have to worry about telling nobody shit. So for some of you, that particular thing about that Queen of Pentacles coming in sideways is about not being sure if I want to accept this offer of commitment. I don't know if I want to do that. Because I don't know if I want to lose my independence. Past life. That fucking was on the bottom of the deck too. Which deck was I literally just using? There, see? I saw it too. But you know, sometimes I get stubborn and go, Mleh. there it is again in my fucking face. Past life. This is what's going to fuck up a lot of you guys, the Taurus especially, because it says unfinished business. If a Taurus doesn't feel ready to let something go, they're not going to. Quite a few other signs are like that to Scorpio. All the fixed signs because Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, they're all fixed. They won't let it go. So there could have been something that you felt was unfinished that you may not have been able to shake or let go of. That was the obstacle with the mountain. Emotions. Someone was definitely in their fucking feelings. Feeling a lot of emotions. Purging with the broom because that's cleaning house. So definitely purging. And there you have the church. The locked gate. X marks a spot. Where is it? There it is. Faded encounter. So whatever that was was faded. I told you that. Something was faded. That tower was this faded thing. Locked gate is off limits. Something here was off limits because it was for your own protection. The door didn't open. You didn't get the job. You, you didn't 
end up with the person all because it was your own protection. Remember they say that, right? Protection, rejection is God's protection. And that's what I feel. Rejection is God's protection for you. You didn't get it because you weren't supposed to. Something better. No, it's up to you. If the answer is no, it's up to you to sit there and be angry and sad and mad and pout about it or to be open to new things. Within the next few weeks, you're ready. What is that? If you believe. If you believe. Do you believe in magic? Why am I hearing that? Bad health. Someone was in some sort of medical state of uh, illness or they got hurt or they were sick. You have change. Change in career, moving, some kind of big life change. Relationship status change. Official person and the gift. Something's official. You told if someone. I feel like it's someone says something, or receiving letter or notification. Something's official. You have gift. The gift there is a big deal because the gift talks about um, receiving something, and you, what you receive is kind of like deceiving because it's, it's wrapped so you don't see it. The gift was the tower. It didn't look like one. It didn't look like a gift right at first. You may have thought it was disaster. You may have thought it was something that, oh. But it's a gift. Because a tower comes in to shake us and, and rattle our cages and help us realign. It comes in to literally end things that we should have ended or things that aren't meant for us. Community. The house. Someone may have been at home, felt lonely. They felt like they didn't have a sense of community. They felt alone. Maybe somebody here got sick or they got hurt and they had to stay at home. I don't know. Quarantine, you have COVID, I, I don't know. I don't know. Queen of Pentacles again. Is she needs to make up her mind. She's, some of you receive something and you have to make up your fucking mind what you're going to do. Do you accept or not? The emperor. Bruh. Some of you, if this is romantic, okay, the emperor is going to shoot their shot and it's going to be a big fucking offer. If that's work, the emperor is the boss, the owner. What do you decide? What do you want? Hanged man. Yeah, someone was kind of trying to stall. Seven of swords. They're trying to stall. They're trying to get out of making some sort of decision. They tried to prolong the ending of something. They tried to prolong saying yes or saying fucking no. The jig is up, honey. It's time to make a choice. It's time to decide. Ten of pentacles, five of swords. Again, do not self-sabotage your ass. Ten of pentacles. It's really, whatever this is coming in the future, it's lucrative. It's a solid, long-term committed offer, whether you're talking career, business, or this is love. It's not, a, as we say in Hawaii, manini is small, mini. It's not a small offer. This is something big. It's something huge. All right? So we'll get into your extended. Should you wish to rent it, click the bottom of this video, the word more, and it is going to bring up all of the links. Go to the first one. It's going to go to my website, saltwaterhillstrow.com. And you are going to go ahead and look for the extended readings and look for December, okay? All right, I will see you guys there. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Love you, bye.